Welcome to Ask Ara. I'm Abby Cravada, and today we are talking about something that we believe in strongly here at the Ara Group, the importance of emotional intelligence. The month of October is Emotional Intelligence Month. Emotional intelligence, also known as emotional quotient or EQ, is the ability to perceive emotions in oneself and others accurately. Research shows you can achieve higher levels of success and unleash your full potential with high EQ. So today we're going to share with you how to interview for EQ and set your employees up for success from the start. The first core skill of EQ is self-awareness. To get some insight into whether or not a candidate has a strong sense of self-awareness, you could ask an interview question such as, tell me about a time when you thought you were right about something, but in fact, you were wrong. Or think of someone you didn't drive with at work. How would that person describe you? If your candidate can't come up with an answer or worse, bashes the other person, that could be a red flag. The second core skill of emotional intelligence is self-management. For some insight, you could ask questions like, at times your workload may feel unmanageable, Describe a time you recognize that you were unable to meet deadlines. What did you do about it? And how do you de-stress? Or another question could be, how do you recover from failure? The third core skill is social awareness. Ask questions like, tell me about a time you had a conflict with a boss or colleague at work. Describe your role in the situation. What social cues did you pick up on from others? How did your actions have a positive outcome to resolve the problem? Finally, the fourth core skill is relationship management. Ask, tell me about a time in which your boss asked you to embrace a new system, process, or idea at work that was a significant departure from the old way of doing things. How did you collaborate? What was the result? What did you learn? With these questions, you'll be able to see what people think feel and the way they act in a particular situation and discover a much better sense of the candidate's emotional intelligence and even cultural fit. There are many benefits of EQ in the workplace. A few worth noting are higher productivity, happier work environments, greater adaptability, resilience, and decreased stress. Set your employees and company up for success from the very start by making sure potential new hires not only have the required competencies and skill sets, but a high EQ too. I hope these tips were helpful and that you can put some of these questions to use during your next interview to help you find some outstanding hires for your organization. And what are your favorite questions to ask to reveal a candidate's EQ? We would love to hear your comments below. Please share them. Until next time, remember to keep following us and thank you for watching Ask Ara.